not 100% sure about this whole um, aesthetic, but it's what I'm going to go with for now. <laughs> so here's my notebook, and this is usually full of um, ideas for films, um, song lyrics and stuff like that. And I was browsing through it, and I found this, which is an idea for a Halloween thing which I never ended up doing, and my camera's out of focus. This is a list of the things that scared me as a child, and I don't know why I wrote this, I don't know if I thought it was going to be a thing, but I'm too impatient to wait till next Halloween to actually go through it, so I'm going to go through it now. <laughs> so here we go with the things that scared me as a child. The first thing on the list is the opening to the BFG. <laughs> The original one from, I believe, the 70s. It was a really creepy, like, opening scene. It looked like the back of a Yu-Gi-Oh card. It was like a portal, and it's like, text kind of on screen with music that just creeped me out. And then it, like, weirdly switched to a scene where the BFG was just sneaking around and then kidnaps a child. But it was like really warped, distorted-looking houses that really scared me. And... Mm, I didn't... I, I, I didn't... I didn't like that as a child. Now, Fair enough, I, can, I, I saw this when I was like five and still haven't actually rewatched it, so I'm probably gonna have to rewatch it and find the clips. And I'm probably gonna have, probably gonna feel a little bit embarrassed that it scared me, to be honest, but it did. Another one was the bird creatures from the labyrinth. Now, it has been brought to my attention that these do have an actual in universe name. I don't know it, I will not learn it, but they do have a name. There's a one point in the film where Jennifer Connelly's character walks off on her own. It's a it's it's basic movie, you know, things go wrong and she thinks, you know what, fuck this, I'm gonna do this on my own. This is my journey. And she encounters these little creatures, start ripping off their own heads and then threatening to rip off her head. Then they start juggling around their heads and maintaining this exact same like attitude or bit a bit laddie attitude. And it just fucked me up as a kid. I was terrified by this. I still am. I can't watch this scene. It makes me really uncomfortable. This one was Muppet's Christmas Carol, and I do remember exactly what it was. No, it's not the creepy death creature. It's the door knockers on, um... I can't remember what it was, but it, I think it was on Scrooge's house. But there's a scene where they knock on the door, and it's Stadler and Waldorf. And I think they scream. And it, I really didn't like it. It creeped me out, and it still does a little bit. Because the Muppets still creep me out a little bit. <laughs> The next one is Looney Tunes Back in Action, which to be honest is an awful film, but it's a very dumb 2000s film that I enjoy, like it has Brendan Fraser playing himself, <laughs> where his stunt double who hates himself, it's, it's an odd film. Now there's one scene where they go to, I believe, the Louvre in Paris, where you see, I don't know if it's the real name of the painting, but it's the Screamer, you know, it's the one where he's doing the, the Home Alone face, but um... That I think Daffy Duck or someone pushes him over and he actually screams and it's like a really horrific wail which I'll, I don't know if I'm able to play but I'll try. I, I can't get over that scream, especially just the way that he looks at the camera and everything, or at least the way I remember him looking at the camera. It made me really uncomfortable. I have so many left of these. This one is Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. Yeah, I don't know if I need to back this up, I'll include some footage, it's about um, aliens eating other aliens that are slaves and you have to escape the factory before they kidnap you and eat you. No, it's not for kids, it's it's very much not for kids. This one is Harry Potter, the Prisoner of Azkaban, more specifically the trailer, and I remember this now, it was the trailer of Prisoner of Azkaban. And it's there's a scene where like, by the way, this, this trailer would play before kids movies with PG, like PG kids movies. So there's a scene where the Dementor puts his hands through like the, the slat of the train window and it like starts to open it. And they showed this in the trailer and it shat me up as a child. Um, I would have to, tr one, I don't even think you could skip through those ads, or at least I don't remember you can. So we just have to leave the room at that point. This one was Batman Forever, uh, colon Riddler Melting. Which, yeah, so there's a scene at the end of the movie where I think, um, I don't remember how Batman beats the Riddler, but they fuck with his device or something, and it implants a bunch of information into his brain, and it melts him for a scene. And it's really 
weird cartoony melting, but it, it was just Jim Carrey just turning into a puddle of like sludge. It was not pleasant, it was some body horror yeah. shit, I just couldn't, I, I couldn't get past it. Next one is Willy Wonka Boat Ride. Do I need to back that up? I think we've all seen that film. Oh no. I I find it quite funny that the that the like the the sequel is like ramped up the intensity of every scene and made it much more hostile, but for that scene they just you know they did nothing they just threw in a bunch of dumb jokes about like fucking whipped cream or something, like every scene in that film was terrifying except for that one scene from the original that was meant to be terrifying. <laughs> this one is Doctor Who Pompeii, which again it's the body horror thing, it's like a scene where like. A woman from Pompeii is turning to stone or something, and she puts her hand out, and it's like stone. It's like, oh, oh no, that's horrifying. Pompeii episode is though one of my favorite episodes. It's really good. So it's the help. I'm a fish. Villain death. You haven't seen Hello, I'm a fish. I don't blame you. It's an early two thousands animated film. It's not particularly good. Um, it's starring someone who I can't remember. What I will, I will put in. Um. Yeah, so the entire plot of the film is that there are humans that turn into fish and there's a potion that will turn them back, but when normal fish drink it, it just keeps making them more and more intelligent. And in the end, they basically trick him into drinking so much of it, they, I don't know what this is, they're drinking so much of it that he becomes a human. And then one of the characters is like, oh yeah, but can humans breathe underwater? And he's just like, well, according to my calculations. Oh, fuck. Yeah. And um, he just sort of like, it's like a really weirdly like realistic, he just sort of stops breathing and then just fades away into the water. And me as a child was just like, I have just watched someone drown. Drowning is like one of the worst ways to die and I've just watched someone lose their life through loss of oxygen in the water. And no. Next one is Gollywogs. And if you don't know what Gollywogs are, they're a very racist toy and I don't know why I had them growing up. My family's not particularly racist. They were just there. And I hate them. They're so scary. Like, I don't know why they're supposed to be a depiction of black people. Black people are lovely. These creatures are yeah. fucking terrifying. They are, like, essentially a toy version of a minstrel show. Like, yeah. fucking blackface, ash fro, um, big red lips. But they're fucking yeah. horrifying. I used to have dreams of these things, like, trying to take me away. I don't know what horrific monster designed these, but I never want to meet that man. Well, also, he's a racist, so I probably wouldn't want to meet him regardless. Next one is Salad Fingers. <laughs> these episodes were horrifying. It was a tall, scary green man in the middle of nowhere after presumably an apocalypse of some sort, digging up dead bodies and licking hairs. It made me really uncomfortable as a child, and it makes me really uncomfortable now, except now I've grown to really love the series and think that the animator David Firth is one of the greatest like artists and storytellers of our time, and even though he's severely mentally deranged, I love his work and I love this series. The last one is Page Master. So the idea of Page Master, this is the last one, the idea of Page Master is a boy who goes into a library gets attacked by a really bad CGI paint dragon and goes into the an animated world of books and one of the first books he goes to is The Curious Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde which is by the way a terrible book, I don't care who disagrees with that. It's a, It was another body horror like transformation scene where you, he goes and he drinks some potion and he transforms and he like attacks the children, it was terrifying. I don't have to end stuff like this.